Hey there, fight fans. New details have appeared in the Conor McGregor case. Also, UFC President Dana White has set about organizing a very historic fight. This would be the biggest fight ever in the history of the world. Now, some may find it kind of funny, but make no mistake, this might be the best-selling pay-per-view fight, breaking all records for viewership. Even John Jones is ready to be in Mark Zuckerberg's corner. But in Elon Musk's corner, it will be Jorge Masvidal. Are you ready for the fire? The, we're firemen. Okay. We are firemen! The heat doesn't bother us. We live in the heat. We train in the heat. So, this is a pretty serious thing, but we're going to kick things off in order. Now, as already said, new details have appeared in the Conor McGregor case. The lawyer of the woman who accused Conor of sexual assault said that the NBA and Miami helped Conor hush up the incident in the bathroom. Some of the guards who were stationed there did not work for Conor McGregor. They were hired by Miami. They decided to cater to a celebrity instead of protecting a young woman in distress, said the lawyer for McGregor's alleged victim who stated that the NBA offered the accuser $100,000 to close the case. Lawyer Ariel Mitchell said that the victim contacted her and shared the details. Mitchell said that during the game, the girl was in the stands with a friend, but later McGregor's security had separated them. After that, according to the lawyer, Connor's bodyguard forced her into the bathroom and did not let anyone in. Connor himself was in one of the wheelchair accessible stalls and then went out to the victim, pressed her up against the wall and kissed her aggressively. Mitchell said that the victim fought back with her elbows and fled, but left her handbag in the bathroom, with which McGregor's guards tried to blackmail her with. The woman reported the incident to the local police where an officer advised her to contact a lawyer. At the same time, she also wants to resolve the situation with the NBA, Miami Heat and Connor himself. The Miami Police Department is currently investigating the incident. Conor McGregor's side does deny the allegation, stating it's a lie. You can't intimidate Mr. McGregor. After news of the possible assault, Conor stated that his family is expecting a fourth child, saying things are going well. We are expecting another child and are very excited. Now, we can't agree that everything in this case looks kind of strange, but no matter what, I personally don't really want to believe that Conor is guilty of this very heinous accusation, but... I mean, what do you all think? Leave your thoughts down in the comments. And moving on. Just a few hours after the world's two richest individuals, Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg, agreed to meet inside a cage, UFC President Dana White sprang into action in order to organize this historic fight. Now, it is kind of amusing, but this is a highly significant bout. Why? Well, these are billionaires who own two of the most popular social media platforms in the world. So they know exactly how to leverage this fight. Algorithms? They have already agreed to settle their differences in the ring after Elon Musk accused Zuckerberg of attempting to control all information on the internet and challenged him. A challenge that Mark Zuckerberg gladly accepted. Mark Zuckerberg wrote, send me the location. If you want to find me, please just send me location. Echoing the phrase used by Habib Nurmagomedov when challenged, and Dana White spoke to both of them, Elon and Mark. Both guys are dead serious about having this fight, he stated in an interview with TMZ Sports. They both said, yes, we'll do it. First, I spoke to Mark and he asked me, is he serious? And I replied, I don't know, let me ask him. I asked Elon and he responded, yes, I'm absolutely serious. According to Dana White, this will be the greatest fight in history, breaking all records for pay-per-view sales. You don't have to be a fight fan to be interested in this showdown, as everyone will want to see it. Hundreds of millions of dollars will be donated to charity because, well, these guys don't need the money. If they are serious about it, Dana will gladly organize these fights that people want to see. Now, as for the price, I think the pay-per-view will probably cost $100 and they can earn hundreds of millions of dollars, which will no doubt go to charitable causes. According to the UFC president, both billionaires have combat experience and possess martial arts skills, saying Mark takes the sport very seriously and trains very hard. He is good at striking and proficient in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Elon told me he's involved in combat sports, practices jiu-jitsu, and said he had plenty of fights growing up in South Africa. So guys, don't look at this fight with much irony. Even the reigning UFC heavyweight champ John Jones is ready to join Mark Zuckerberg's training camp. You already know that I am on the Zuckerberg team. Mark, let me know if you need a training partner, he posted on social media. 
Elon Musk also received support from the former BMF title holder Jorge Masvidal and UFC top middleweight Sean Strickland, saying Elon Musk looks like we have a job, Masvidal wrote on social media. Damn Mark Zuckerberg, dirty communist, nobody wants his disinformation censorship. Elon Musk, come to Vegas and we'll get to work. Strickland turned to the billionaire also on social media. Even Elon Musk's mom reacted to her son's desire to fight Mark Zuckerberg. No jokes, the battle will only be in words, in armchairs, a meter apart, the funniest one wins. Actually, I canceled the fight. I haven't told them yet, but just in case, I will continue to talk about the cancellation, wrote Elon Musk's mom on social media. Now, of course, Elon Musk answered his mom saying, Dear mom, I know you love me, but I have to fight Zuck. I'll smash his face so we can get rid of Facebook. I'm tired of communism. This is a fight for freedom. Elon Musk wrote also on social media. We will have a star in MMA bigger than Conor McGregor? Nah! <laughs> no, what it tells you is that it doesn't matter, does it? It tells you that is, that is the strength of what being a fighter is all about. They choose to do it though, him, a lot of other people that have money because they want that. They want to feel like a badass. They want to feel like an alpha male. They want to dominate another man and they want the world to know that they can do it. And also Colby Covington and Michael Chandler were on Fox News and Colby explains why he's taking Elon Musk. Yeah, thanks for having me on, Laura. It wouldn't even be competitive. Mark Zuckerberg, he brings beta soy boy energy. Elon Musk, he brings alpha energy. He's a man of the people. He's looking to restore free speech. He's looking to fight the corruption and collusion at the highest levels of government. He, you know, he's he's a man of the people right now and he's an alpha. He talks the talk and he walks the walk. I don't think Zuckerberg will actually get an octagon with him. And if he did, Laura, I don't ever think he'd be the same person ever again. Now, if the fight between Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg really does take place, the founder of the largest social media network in the world will come out as a multiple time favorite. At the moment, the odds for the victory of the 39-year-old Zuckerberg is 1.2, while the success of the 51-year-old Musk is estimated at a coefficient of 4. Now, only time will tell if this clash between the minds behind Tesla and Facebook will actually materialize into a colossal event. As we eagerly anticipate further developments, we can only hope that the enthusiasm and determination expressed by all parties involved will ultimately lead to a remarkable showdown that captivates audiences worldwide. Now rest assured, we will continue to keep you updated on any new announcements, negotiations, and progress towards making this extraordinary battle a reality. But until then, let the excitement build and may the clash of these modern titans surprise all expectations, proving that even outside of their respective industries, Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg are willing to step into the arena and vie for supremacy in an entirely different realm. So what do you all think of this? Do you support the idea? Leave your thoughts down in the comments.